new on the channel today, Radio Master Zorro Max Blinged Out Edition. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we reviewed the Radio Master Zorro and this one is a brand new version with leather handle grips on the back. It has the same type of batteries in here, which they were bigger, they're not the 18650s, which most of us want, but maybe in a future version of V2 coming up, who knows. But this one has AG01s in here, super nice gimbals. We're gonna take a look at this one on the bench with all the bells and whistles and carbon fiber overlay on this entire radio. Uh, looking pretty slick for guys who want something a little more blinged out. They're giving you color options now with this one. So Zorro Max, let's take a little closer look. And there it is guys. Now the Zorro fans have the option to be able to bling out their radio just like the TX16S series. The Max Edition on the left right there, you can see my drone cams engraving on the on off switch. This one doesn't seem to have any engraving options, but it does come in priced at $219 uh, with the AG01 gimbals, the carbon fiber, and the leather back panels on here with the red stitching. Kind of reminds me of like the Volkswagen GTI series car seats. I used to have a GTI years ago. Um, kind of brings me back to that. That's kind of cool. It also has a speaker on the front. It has SIM compatibility and it has the 18350 size batteries in here as well. And it does have pre installed Edge TX, which is pretty cool. And here it is sitting next to the original Radio Master Zorro. Um, and really, the only big difference between these two radios is the AG01 gimbals that are kind of upgraded from the original Hog gimbals, as well as all the aluminum anodized upgrades on here. It also has kind of switch upgrades on the back here. These can also be bought in different colors. You could mix and match if you want to. It seems like they're coming in blue, black, and red, and gold. And I asked for the gold edition because I just thought it looked pretty cool. I mean, when I opened the box, the first thing that struck me was like how freaking gold these actually look. They look really gold in person. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting and um, on the camera here, but man, these things are blinged out. Uh, probably one of the most blinged out radios I've ever had. And again, I just wish that the, uh, the batteries were a little longer runtime, but you can also extend the battery life by putting a battery on the very bottom right here to be able to charge and fly at the same time. So USB-C port in the bottom on both these radios will kind of extend that battery time for you, which is kind of cool. Simulator support port in the very top right here with the USB-C port in the very top and underneath this hatch right here will allow you to fly in the simulator as well. So um, I fly on lift off a lot and it's a lot of fun with the community. And as far as the difference in the grips go, it really comes down to two things, honestly. It comes down to looks and function, and it depends on what type of person you are. If you're a person who prefers looks, you're obviously gonna go for the leather with the red stitching on here. It also has kind of Radio Master embossed into leather, which I thought was pretty cool. And for this one, this one is the original rubber kind of silicone grip. This one gives a little bit more grippiness to it. So if you want more grip, you're gonna go for the silicone version. If you want kind of style versus substance, you're gonna go for the leather with the red stitching version. One thing that I think is really improved over the last version of this radio is the fact that when I put this on back here, it seems to be more snug and snaps into place and doesn't come off quite as easy. This one, the previous version of the V1, um, and these are both technically V1s, so you just have upgrades, but this one slides off easier. It comes off easier, and it honestly comes off quite a bit. Um, and I'm not sure if we're missing a tab there, but you can see this one just comes back really easily. And this one takes a lot more force for it to come off. I almost have to really just get in there and pinch hard to make it come off. So I feel like this snaps on better than the previous version did. Now on the back side of the Zorro Max, you also have that same external module bay on the back. It supports Crossfire or other type of modules, uh, including ELRS modules. And for those wanting more battery runtime, you have straps down here so you can accommodate battery straps to go all the way around the strap here if you want to put a battery right in the center. That's why Radio Master put these slots here on the bottom for you. The Zorro Max also comes with the brand new Edge TX installed, pre-installed on this radio. So you can go straight into Edge TX and start working in Edge TX Open Configurator. 
And you can still set up the models the same way with the buttons on the bottom here. You have the jog wheel, telemetry here. We have return button, system button. We have page up and page down buttons. There are other radios out there that are smaller like this that only have kind of um, one button for page. And I like the fact that it has a forward and a backward button. And the AG01 gimbals also have front facing tension adjustment for the throttle stick and on the aileron and pitch stick over here. Pitch and roll axis, these little guys right here will reduce the tension or tighten the tension up. And if you're kind of looking at a Zorro radio for the first time, they also have a pop-up antenna that's on the top of this display. And I was talking to one of my friends this week about this display. This particular display I liked on this radio because, well, I like the large full-size display that this radio has. A lot of the smaller type of transmitters, the game style transmitters as we call them, they have about half the size screen and it's a little bit harder for me to see but with this screen I can really see what's going on. Now also in the box you do get an extra screen protector here, some velcro straps for your battery setup as well as a, a QC passcode tag right here with the stamp and you get the Zorro quick start guide. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really up to you which one you really want to go for. Um, if money is no object, go for this one. It's $219. You have the awesome carbon fiber look on here. And you can get your choice of four colors for the upgraded um, gimbals here. You also get the AG01 gimbals, which I think is a, a nice upgrade. If you look up the price on those alone, it's around close to, to what you're going to pay. Um, it, is, it is quite an expensive upgrade for the AG01 gimbals. Um, I think they're like 70 bucks a piece. Um, so at the end of the day, if you want to go cheaper and that's your, your concern, this one's $99. So uh, if you're looking to get into FPV super cheap, but you don't want to spend $200 on a, a game style transmitter with all the bling and bells and whistles, you don't really need that. Um, this one has the same functionality um, tech-wise as this one does. This one just looks pretty. So really, it's totally up to you guys which one you prefer getting. If you already own this one and you want to do the upgrades, you can still do that by buying these parts separately to do that. So um, just putting this information out there for the community. This is the Radio Zorro Master Controller uh, M2 version, 99 bucks. The Zorro Max version, that's brand new and it's out now. You can check out both of these in the link down below if you want to grab either one and uh, get started in FPV or you just want to kind of upgrade um, maybe your existing transmitter, maybe you have something um, not as good as the Zorro. So a lot of people like it and um, some people don't like it. So it really just depends on um, uh, what you want. So hop into our Discord server if you want to talk about this one. We can have a conversation about it. You look up the Drone Camps Discord link down below in the video description and there's over 900 pilots in there hanging out now. Uh, talking about FPV 24-7. So I look forward to seeing you in there and uh, all kinds of different subjects in there now. Long range, cine whoops, tiny whoops, and freestyle FPV chat. So I'll see you there. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.